Hello friends, Rusty Miner coming at you. Today we're going to take a look at the Tucson TS-76. Not a great day for light, so I don't know if you can see this. It's got black and green G10. We have a black backspacer, stainless steel. This is milled stainless steel makes it a frame lock we have a deep carry pocket clip of course a little bit of this is going to stick out the tip there and a lanyard kind of a tie on in there t8 hardware uh and there's a look at your uh pivot now this has some jimping, or excuse me, a flipper tab has some jimping, and it has some milling. And I don't know if you can see this, it's got some milling on the top as well. Kind of a straight line milling. So we'll go ahead and open this up. Hard to describe this blade shape. I'm going to call it a razor. Uh, hopefully we can get that, take a peek. Got a belly to it. It's got kind of a little worn cliff kind of a drop there. Uh, the blade also has milling all the way, kind of a milled fuller and some jimping on top. And what's kind of cool is how this milling lines up with the frame. Well, this is a night morning design. The TS-76, it comes in D2 steel. And we'll take a peek at the lockup. That's pretty good. Yeah, even if I push it over, it kind of comes back to there. I'm happy with that. This one's interesting, it just is G10 on this side. No, no steel liner on here. And I'll cover that later on in the video why I think that's okay. So it fires out nicely. Uh, once you get past the detent, it's running on ceramic bearings. Played with this a little. It is off center, uh, as usual. I will take uh, take this one apart, like my other D, uh, two sons, do a little cleanup, and lock tight that pivot, and uh, get it centered. And then they tend to stay in place. So ergos are good. Get four fingers. You do get. It's really kind of a sharp point right here. Try to get that right there can kind of nab you. I don't know if I can maybe sand that off. So stick around. We're going to do some sharpness kind of looking at this. Okay. Okay, guys, and we're back. And we're going to go ahead and take a closer look at this Tucson TS-76. So don't really have a similar knife to compare it to I thought I'd bring out the Civivi Brazen uh, they're the same price range you guys have seen this one before uh, we're going to take a peek at this in terms of blade steel and in terms of uh, you know overall length kind of take a peek at the, the jimping and the tips now one thing that this one has it comes down it's got a flat grind and you know how i mentioned this is like a worn cliff uh, it's kind of like a clip point too and this flat grind comes down to 13 thousandths okay give you an idea the civivi comes down to 20 22 thousandths um now also give you an idea this one, uh, razor blades come in what they call a number 9 and a number 12. And you guessed it, number 9 has 9 thousandths of an inch. And the number 12s are 12 thousandths of an inch. So at 13 thousandths, this is very thin. It's going to make for a very slicey knife. Uh, this is not normal paper. This is a candy bar. Come off the bottom of a candy bar and this is factory edge let's take a peek 
at the uh, cutting up maybe like a receipt. Okay. So, very, very fine edge on this. Trying to get a little look at the... And because of that, that's why I said it's okay if all you have on this side is G10. Uh, you're not going to use this knife to do any hard work. It's just too thin. If you can imagine taking a razor blade, trying to get in there and do some hard work. Uh, that's why, you know, this brazen would be more suitable for that. So, does have some good action. Kind of dealing with uh, everything here. I got my dog next to me trying to get out of the truck. So, that's what we're looking at there, guys. And I would say this is more of a clip point. I kind of compared it to a, a worn cliff just because of how thin this tip gets and you, because of the way you could use it to do some tip cutting. All right, thanks.